running your own custom browser based on the Chromium source. Google Chrome is based on the open source project Chromium, which is partially based on WebKit, partially based on a product called V8, and a number of other so open source components. But you can download the Chromium components and compile them yourself on the Windows platform using the free Microsoft Visual C++ Express, Express Edition, maybe the Stressed Edition as well. But the Chromium source is not too difficult to compile. It's a little overwhelming at first, and it is a big task, but it's totally doable. First, you need to git, G-I-T, the source code. And installing git and executing the command to download the source code is pretty simple. Where it gets a little weird is that Google uses a tool of their own called Deploy Tools that is Python based that then installs the necessary components based on whichever version of Visual Studio you're going to compile it on. And so you then execute the Deploy Tools bit in order to get the necessary SLN files and VC project files in order to build the actual software. Now, your first build of the software is going to take anywhere between one and a half and six hours of processor time, depending on whether you're compiling the 64-bit version or the 32-bit version, and whether you're running on a 32-bit operating system or a 64-bit operating system. Once you've done your first compile and know that everything's working, you can then start tweaking the source code to do fun and interesting things that you want to see a browser do. The easiest ones are going to be things like swapping out the image files so that you can have a custom skin for your browser that's unlike anybody else's, or renaming some of the elements, or locking it down so that some of the settings can never be changed. You can also add additional functionality and do things like that. It's just C++ along with some Python code, so it's not overwhelming, but be aware that there are over a hundred thousand lines of code in the product, so finding the features that you want to change may take you a little bit of time, and there's a lot of things that can go wrong. All of that said, doing a custom version with your own images and a couple of changes to the menu items is totally doable even by a novice programmer. And even if you don't understand programming, changing the colors of the images so that, you know, Chrome is magically green or includes your picture in it is not too difficult. So go have fun. Check out the Chromium source. And it is called Check Out. That was supposed to be funny. Programming jokes. I know. They suck. But have fun. Check out the Chromium source get the, the source code, make some changes, and you know, you can release your own super magic special edition of Chrome that does what you want.